Alipigana mstuni kwa zaidi ya miaka 30 akitaka kuwa kiongozi wa Zaire. Aliwasajili wengi kwa jeshi madhumuni yakiwa kuondoa utawala waliyekuwa rais wa Zaire Mobutu Seseko. Akiwa katika ngome yake albumbashi alitoa kauli nzito nzito. Ya vita ili kumfukuza yule shetani wenu. Hali ilipokuwa mbaya Afrika Kusini chini ya mzee Nelson Mandela ilijaribu kuwapatanisha na Mobutu Seseko ila hakuwa tayari kukomesha kundi lake la waasi kuteka mji mkuu wa Kinshasa. Comrade Kabila came to see us today to give us the opportunity of briefing him on the discussions we had with President Mobutu. We have done so and uh, we are all waiting for the response from President Mobutu. We shall wait till Monday to receive another answer from the other part the other side that is Mr Mobutu side that is the only thing i can say now pamoja na kuwa aliongoza jamhuri ya demokrasi ya congo hakuishi kwa siku nyingi Laurent Désiré Kabila président de la république je jure fidélité à la nation kwani baada ya miaka mina alipigwa risasi na mmoja wa walinzi wake mwaka na moja na kufariki haya ni makala maalum sehemu ya kwanza ya Loro Desire Kabila ambaye alikuwa rais wa tatu wa Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo na mapambano yake ya kutoa dola hiyo mimi ni Paul Nabiswa Mwaka 1997 Loro Kabila alishika madaraka na kula kiapo mbele ya lukuki ya watu baada ya kutimua utawala wa Mobutu Seseko ambaye alikuwa akatawala kwa miaka 32. Yeye pia baada ya kufanya mapinduzi kwa aliyekuwa rais Joseph Kasavubu mwaka 1965 wakati Mobutu siku hizo akiwa mkuu wa jeshi. Kabila alizaliwa katika eneo la Katanga mwaka 1939 na alianza harakati zake za uongozi pindi Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo ilipojipatia uhuru kutoka kwa Belgiji mwaka 1960. And ill-starred Patrice Lumumba. Wakati huo waziri mkuu wa kwanza alikuwa Patrice Lumumba aliyekuwa na ushirika wa karibu na muungano wa Sovieti na rais alikuwa Joseph Kasavubu mkuu wa jeshi safari hii alikuwa Joseph Mobutu ambaye alibadilisha jina baadaye na kuwa Mobutu Seseko baada ya miezi minne ya uongozi wa Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo mfanyabiashara na mwanasiasa ambaye alikuwa kiongozi wa jimbo tajiri la madini DRC Mweze Shombe alitangaza kujitenga kwa jimbo la Katanga Alipata ungwaji mkono kutoka kwa Ufaransa na muda si mrefu aliyekuwa waziri mkuu Patrice Lumumba alikamatwa na kupelekwa Katanga na Moise Shombe akajitangaza kuwa rais wa jimbo hilo. 
Mwaka wa sina moja Lumumba aliwawa kwa amri ya nchi za magharibi kwa sababu Marekani haikumpenda jinsi alivyoichukia na kushabikia sera za kikomunisti ambazo zilikuwa zikisukumwa na Urusi na washiriki wake. Katika picha hii hapa ni Mobutu Seseko, mkuu wa jeshi aliyempangia Lumumba mauti. Shombe alikuwa waziri mkuu wa Zaire baadaye kutoka mwaka 1964 hadi mwaka 1965. Our criticism has been that the United Nations has been restrained too much in its act actions in Katanga by world powers that again includes Britain, Belgium, France who do not wish to see United Nations take decisive action again because they wish to protect their interests the interests which are behind Shombe's secessionist uh, uh, tactics Wakati huu Loro Kabila alianza upinzani ndani ya Katanga kupinga kujitenga kwa jimbo hilo kwa sababu alikuwa mfuasi sugu wa Patrice Lumumba. Septemba mwaka 1962 mkoa mpya wa Katanga Kaskazini ukabuniwa na kabila kawa mbunge katika hilo baraza la mkoa. Mwaka mmoja baadaye yeye na wengine walazimishwa kujiuzulu kwa sababu walionekana kuwa wapiga debe wa sera za kikomunisti na akaelekea mashariki ya Kongo hususan Kivu na mkoa wa Katanga kaskazini kuuza sera hizo na kupanga mapinduzi. Na mwaka elfu moja kenda mia stina tano kabila kavuka hadi Tanzania alipopangia jeshi lake la uasi. Mwaka huo wa stina tano Loro Kabila alipata usaidizi kutoka Cuba kuendeleza vitendo vya uasi vilivyodhaniwa kuwa vingesaidia katika mapinduzi ya Afrika. Aliyekuja kufanya kazi hiyo alikuwa Ernesto Che Guevara, mpiganaji mwenye usuli wake Argentina lakini alihamia Cuba na wakashirikiana na Fidel Castro waliyekutana naye Mexico na kufanya mapinduzi ya Cuba mwaka tisa kwa ushirikiano na kakake Fidel Raul Castro na kumpindua alikuwa rais wa nchi hiyo Fulgencio Batista. Che Guevara alikuwa akiheshimiwa hata alipozungumza katika mikutano mikuu ya umoja wa mataifa kuhusu haki za watu wa Cuba na alifanya hivyo akiwa waziri wa biashara na viwanda wa Cuba. Patria o muerte. Hatua ya Che Guevara kushirikiana na Loro Kabila na hata kutafuta usaidizi wa zana za kivita kutoka Uchina ili mfanya Kabila kuonekana mtu wa maana sana. Guevara kabla ya kuondoka Havana Cuba na wapiganaji wachache alimwaga Fidel Castro kisha kafunga safari kupitia Moscow, Cairo na baadaye akaingia Dar es Salaam alikopokelewa katika ubalozi wa Cuba. wakati huu kabila alikuwa kiongozi wa waasi lakini kulikuwa na migawanyiko na hata alikuwa ameenda Cairo kuona jinsi ya kupunguza mizozo ya ndani kwa ndani iliyokuwa katika kundi la waasi kutaka kuungua utawala wa mweze Shombe Che Guevara alimlaumu kabila kwa sababu hakuwa mbele katika mapigano na akaandika baadaye katika kumbukizi zake kuwa Loro Desire Kabila alikuwa na ufuasi mkubwa lakini alikosa damu ya mapinduzi. Wapiganaji wengi wa Cuba waliingia Afrika lakini hapakuwa na mipango kabambe ya kukabiliana na vikosi vya serikali. Matokeo yake akawa ya rais wa Misri wakati huo Abdel Nasser kumkumbusha Guevara kuwa mbinu zake hazingefaulu sawa na mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere rais wa awamu ya kwanza wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania Che Guevara alipoona hali ni ngumu alirejea kwao Cuba kabla ya kuenda kuendeleza mapinduzi Bolivia alipouawa na utawala uliokuepo kwa usaidizi wa shirika la ujasusi la Marekani CIA mwaka elfu moja kenda mia stina saba. Loro Kabila aliendelea na mikakati yake baada ya mkuu wa jeshi la Zaire kumpindua rais Kasavubu na akajitwika wadhifa wa kiongozi wa nchi na kubadilisha jina la nchi hiyo hadi Zaire na baadaye akabadilisha jina lake kutoka kwa Joseph Mobutu hadi Mobutu Seseko. Yeye alikuwa akipinga mielekeo ya Sovieti ambayo alikuwa kapendelea Patrice Lumumba ambaye aliwawa kwa mpango wa Mobutu akiwa mkuu wa jeshi. 
Akiwa uhamishoni alikuwa katika kundi la waganda waliokuwa nje na kuungana na jeshi la Tanzania kumtimu wa madarakani Idi Amin Dada mwaka 1979 na kupata moja kwa moja harufu ya makabiliano ya vita. Zipo habari zinazoarifu kuwa Loro Kabila alikuwa rafiki mkubwa Mseveni hadi Mseveni alipoingia msituni mwaka 1980 kupambana na serikali ya Milton Obote awamu ya pili. Hata hivyo Kabila ambaye familia yake ilikuwa ikikaa magomeni Tanzania alikosana na rais wa Tanzania Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere ambaye alichukizwa na mbinu zake za upiganaji na biashara haramu alizofanya. Jambo lililosababisha vyombo vya usalama vya Tanzania kukata uhusiano naye. Zipo taarifa nyingine zinazosema kuwa Loro Kabila alikuwa na ushirika mkubwa na Mseveni baada ya kuupindua utawala wa Obote mwaka 1986. Kabila ambaye alikuwa akaondokea Tanzania alimuomba Mseveni silaha ili Zimsaidie katika vita mashariki mwa Kongo dhidi ya serikali ya Mobutu japo akapewa masharti kuwa asiendeshe operesheni zake kati ya mpaka wa Kongo na Uganda na pili aombe idhini Tanzania ya kupitishia silaha nchini humo hadi mashariki mwa Kongo hakupatana na rais wa wakati huo Ali Hassan Mwinyi hivyo basi mpango huo mzima wa kupokea silaha kutoka Uganda ukazama Alikuja kuibuka tena mwaka 1994 baada ya jeshi la Rwanda Patriotic Front kuchukua madaraka ya nchi hiyo baada ya kuutimua utawala wa Juvenile Habermana. Rais wa Uganda Yoweri Kaguta Museveni alimjulisha kabila kwa makamu rais wa Rwanda ambaye pia alikuwa waziri wa ulinzi Paul Kagame. Kagame alikuwa na tofauti kubwa na rais Mobutu Seseko kuhusu kuwa hifadhi wa kimbizi wa Nyarwanda katika mpaka wa Kongo na Rwanda ambapo kulikuwa na waasi wa Interahamwe na waliokuwa wanajeshi wa zamani wa Rwanda Those living the fled when it was war time here so they went to Zambia to Tanzania it is quite uh, that is a common situation now those who fled from Uvira to Tanzania they are coming back to Uvira they are there so even those going there fearing because of the propaganda about mercenaries intervention from outside forces that way they are fleeing Mseveni aliliona kuwa tatizo la kanda na kumjuza rais awamu ya kwanza wa Tanzania Mwalimu Julius Kambarage Nyerere Aliwafahamisha pia mabalozi wa nchi za muungano wa Ulaya kuhusu watari waliokuwa kabiliwa wa Banya Mlenge na Watutsi waliokuwa mashariki mwa Kongo. Mseveni pia alizungumza na rais wa Afrika Kusini mzee Nelson Mandela, rais wa Zimbabwe siku hizo Robert Mugabe na mwenzao wa Msumbiji Joachim Chisano kuhusu namna ya kulisaidia jeshi la waasi ambalo lilikuwa likiongozwa na Loro Kabila. Tingi tingi is not only refugees come. Yes, I know. But it is a military barracks for Interahamwe and others. Obviously we don't have we don't have all the means. Uh, if we had the means of course we would not uh, go outside Africa. We don't have all the means but nevertheless it's an African problem and uh, it's the Africans who have taken this initiative. And clearly <laughs> although the the countries of the regions are the ones who have met for this problem, uh, we can't envisage a force basically an african force seeking assistance from the outside world we can't envisage a force an african force that does not have south africa to supply arms to rwanda was uh, influenced by humanitarian considerations that uh, people who are unarmed are going to be victims of uh, that army which is outside the borders which is being trained and prepared to go back and commit those massacres it is in that light that we took this decision to arm rwanda in consultation with the leaders in that region Oktoba mwaka 1996 kabila alirejea Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo na akapata usaidizi kutoka kwa Tutsi wa Kivu kaskazini na kungwa mkono pakubwa na nchi za Uganda, Rwanda na Burundi. Sisi seko 
kama atabaki muda gani tena kule kwenye chateau yake ya Bandolite kule Alivisukuma vikosi vyake vya Alliance of Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Congo Zaire ADFL Shughuli zake zilianzia magharibi mwa Kongo Kwanza alianza kuwasajili vijana katika jeshi lake wengine wakiwa chini ya umri wa miaka 18 Wakati huo Mobutu Seseko alikuwa na matatizo ya kiafya na hata alikuwa kasafiri ugaibuni kutafuta tiba lakini kabila akayateka maeneo mengi ya mashariki mwa Kongo wanajeshi wa serikali wakitimka kipindi hiki Loro Kabila alikuwa na mawaziri wa wizara tofauti katika jeshi lake lilokuwa mstuni ni kazi yenu kutoa michango yenu hali ilizidi kumuia ngumu Mobutu ambaye hakuwa radhi kuacha madaraka kabila aliendelea kupata ufuasi mkubwa katika maeneo mengine ya nchi na akiwa Lubumbashi kuliko kuwa na makao makuu yake akatangaza kuwa jeshi lake litamuondoa Mobutu katika ikulu ya Kinshasa Mikutano yake ilijaa pomoni na wafuasi wake walikuwa tayari kumsikiliza wakiwemo viongozi wa dini waliodhania kuwa muda wa Mobutu sesese kwa kuongoza nchi hiyo ulikuwa umeisha kadhalika maafisa wa shirika la umoja wa mataifa walihudhuria hafla hizo na kuzua pingamizi kubwa miongoni mwa wafuasi wa kabila There won't be any ceasefire before negotiations That is it And what are the conditions for negotiation Oh there is no precondition Nothing They have to come and we start negotiating na kwa sababu kabila alikuwa kalindwa sawasawa na vikosi vyake waliotaka maridhiano kati yake na Mobutu Seseko lazima wangemtafuta kwa utaratibu wa kipekee. Afrika Kusini ilijitwika wadhifa huo na kwanza aliyekuwa makamu rais Tabombeki alielekea Lubumbashi kukutana na kabila kwanza kabla kumpelekea mzee Mandela matakwa yake we discussed merely the preparations for for the meeting uh, of course this this matter of that particular date has got to be put to president mbutu and we will see how he responds so it's got to be agreed loro kabila alikuwa akakubali kusafiri hadi afrika kusini kwanza kukutana mandela kisha baadaye wakutane na mbutu seseseko mandela akamtahadharisha asiyaweke hadharani yasije akachukiza upande wa Mobutu. Uh, General Florent uh, Desri Kabila who is uh, leading the well-known forces uh, on the eastern part of Zaire. He came down here to brief me about the situation. But I would like to leave the matter to him and only to say that uh, we are discussing very sensitive matters where confidentiality is absolutely necessary no this fire we are close to the negotiation we haven't yet discussed it with them so that we come to a ceasefire or other position marekani ilikuwa mbioni kuhakikisha kuwa kabila na mobutu wanakutana na alikuwa mjumbe wake bill richardson akafika kwa Mobutu na kumpa ujumbe wa rais wa Marekani Bill Clinton na ikakubaliwa kuwa mkutano ufanyike kwa meli. President Mobutu has assured me today that he's prepared to meet with Mr. Kabila under UN and OAU auspices immediately. Wanafunzi wa vyuo vikuu Kinshasa walikuwa wameanza kuandamana machi mwaka 1997 wakimtaka Mobutu aondoke. Mobutu safari hii alikuwa akasema kuwa angeondolewa kwa njia ya kidemokrasia na hata mwanawe Nzanga Mobutu akalitaka vuguvugu la kabila kusubiri uchaguzi jambo ambalo wafuasi wa kabila hawakuwa radhi kulisikia. The United States or is Belgium but what does the people think? The only way to uh, let them express what they want is to go through elections. We are on the eve of 21st century and we cannot let boots and guns, you know, uh, all over the place. It's just um, unbearable, you know. Uh, I think the only fair way to express these democratic claims 
is to go through elections. And I'm sure both the United States and Belgium believe in democracy. We're not taking anything from Mobutu because we don't trust his public statements. And that's why we want to go and talk to him face to face. Uh, especially when his son is talking, we don't know if it's really his father saying anything. Wanajeshi wa Uingereza walikuwa wameingia Congo Brazzaville kupanga namna ya kuondoa raia wa Uingereza Zaire kutokana na joto la vita kupanda. Mwanawe Mobutu mwingine ya Kongolo Mobutu alikuwa mstari wa mbele kuongoza jeshi la Zaire kudhibiti nguvu za waasi waliokuwa tayari kuiteka serikali ya babake. Kutokana na wasama uliokuwepo kati ya makundi hayo mawili pande zote mbili zilikutana Rais wa Afrika Kusini Nelson Mandela ndani ya meli kujadili namna ya kupatana kutokana na maafa yaliyokuwa yakiendelea mashariki mwa Kongo pamoja na juhudi zote hizo makundi hayo hayakupatana kwa vyovyote vile na kabila hakuwa radhi kusitisha vita Kabila hata baada ya kuondoka Afrika Kusini katika miezi tangulizi ya mwaka 1997 vikosi vyake viliendelea kuteka maeneo tofauti ya nchi na kufikia Mei walikuwa wanaelekea Kinshasa Hali ilipokuwa ngumu kwa mzee Mobutu Seseko alikimbia Zaire Mei 16 mwaka 1997 hii ilikuwa baada ya kabila kujitangaza rais na vikosi vyake kutapaka kila mahali ukuwemo mji mkuu wa iliyokuwa Zaire siku hizo Kinshasa Pamoja na kuwa kabila alikuwa katua inchi kwa mabavu vijana wa chuo kikuu waliandamana hadi katika ubalozi wa Marekani wakipinga uongozi wa kabila na kutaka aliyekuwa kateuliwa na Mobutu Seseko siku chache kabla ya hapo kuwa waziri mkuu Entine Shisekedi kutua uongozi wa Zaire We want Tshisekedi We want Tshisekedi everybody that showing now Tshisekedi is the only one who is coming to yes. national conference of, of Congo Walifanya hivyo kwa ajili waliamini kuwa Marekani ilikuwa ikiunga mkono vitendo vya kabila kuitoa dola kwa nguvu We have already begun to work with Mr Kabila and with his, with his associates It is not going to be necessary for the United States to issue a formal document or formal proclama proclamation recognizing formally this new government the fact is that the united states has relations with states not governments we had a relationship with zaire a country that has vanished we had a relationship with the former democratic republic uh, of congo in the early 1960s another government that vanished <laughs> long ago we will now have a relationship with the democratic republic of congo the government that's going to be established by Mr Kabila within 24 hours Lisilobudi hutendwa Kabila aliapishwa Mei 17 mwaka 1997 kuwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Demokrasia ya Kongo na moja ya hatua alizochukua ni pamoja na kubalisha jina la nchi kutoka Zaire Viongozi wengi barani Afrika walihudhuria hafla hiyo huku Mobutu Seseko akiwa wa mishoni kwa kuhofia kuwa angevamiwa na vikosi vya Loro Kabila hata hivyo hakuishi kutawala kwa siku nyingi kwani aliwawa na mmoja wa walinzi wake Paul Nabiswa makala ya mirathi ya siasa KTN News